Hello and welcome. The Royal Australian Air Force had been well served by the introduction of the British Canberra bomber in the late 40s, the British Avon Sabre in the 1950s and the French Mirage 30 in the 60s. In May 1963, Prime Minister Menzies sent a study group headed by Air Marshal Valston Hancock overseas to evaluate the French, British and American options specifically to replace the aging Canberra bomber. Cost and performance were factors to consider. They were aware that the Americans were intent upon a replacement for the F-105 Thunder Chief that could meet the needs of both the US Navy and US Air Force. American General Dynamics won out with their proposal for a replacement for the F-105. The General Dynamics F-111 introduced new technologies such as variable sweep wings, two after-burning Pratt & Whitney TF-30 turbofan engines, an automated terrain following radar for low-level high-speed flight, and with an escape capsule for side-by-side -side crew seating. In 1963, an election year, the Menzies government announced that it was ordering 24 F-111s for US 125 million, enough for two squadrons. The F-111A variant first flew on the 21st of December 1964 from Carswell Air Force Base in Texas. Australia requested country-specific changes such as long-distance radio, strengthened undercarriage and longer wings for performance in tropical conditions and this became the F-111C. The planes were not delivered until 1973 because of long-running technical problems mainly to do with the wing attach points and the redesign of the F-111 engine intakes. Program costs during 1963-1967 grew at an alarming rate. Estimates by the US Air Force at the start of the program was placed at US $124.5 million, but by April 1967 had risen to $237.75 million, while the initial price of US $5.21 million per aircraft was capped at $5.95 million, other costs were not. The rising price caused controversy in Australia during 1968. By 1973, however, the F-111A had accumulated 250,000 flight hours, proving best safety record among contemporary aircraft. Once in RAAF service, all F-111's maintenance was undertaken at Amberley in Queensland. The F-111Cs gave the RAAF a powerful strike capability with long range. The aircraft went through modernisation programs in the 1980s and 1990s and the RAAF acquired improved weapons to maintain their ability to penetrate hostile airspace. Although it never saw combat, the F-111C was the fastest, longest-range combat aircraft in Southeast Asia. Former Indonesian Defence Minister Benny Badani told his Australian counterpart Kim Beasley that when others became upset with Australia during cabinet meetings, Badani told them, do you realise the Australians have a bomber that can put a bomb through that window on the table here in front of us? Thank God that never came to pass. By the 2000s, the F-111Cs were becoming outdated and expensive to maintain, leading to a decision to retire them in 2010 rather than 2020 as originally planned. Maintenance costs were more than any other warplane in the world, an average of 180 hours for every flight hour, compared to 30 hours for the F-22 Raptor. The F-111s were replaced by 24 Boeing FA-18F Super Hornets pending completion of F-35 Lightning II programs. The F-111 was replaced in the US Air Force Service by the F-15E Strike Eagle for medium-range precision strike missions, while the supersonic bomber role was taken by the B-1B Lancer. The RAAF was the last operator of the F-111s. 
13 examples of the F-111C's aircraft can be found at Haas in Wollongong, Aviation Museum in Darwin, RAAF Museum Point Cook and other museums and the cockpit module is at the Aviation Museum Bull Creek, West Australia. The F-111C was a remarkable because of its maximum speed of Mark 2.5, combat range of 2,150 kilometres and a ferry range of 6,900 kilometres. It had a service ceiling of 66,000 feet and a rate of climb of 25,890 feet per minute. Two crew were the pilot and a weapons systems operator. It could carry 14,288 kilos of ordnance as well as had a 20mm Gatling cannon. Comparable aircraft were the BAC TSR-2, Sukhoi Su-24 and the Parnavia Tornado. The unflattering name of the F-111A was Aardvark, Afrikaans for Earth Pig, due to the look of the aircraft's long nose, I suppose. The Australians shortened this just to the pig. Big, bold, ugly. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Nothing compared to the dump and burn of the F-111C in afterburner mode during a high-speed pass above an adoring crowd. <laughs> retirement from the RWF, the Avon Sabres were donated to Indonesia and the Dassault Mirages were sold off to Pakistan, not so the F-111Cs. They were buried in a tip near Ipswich in Queensland. Thank you for watching.